Yeah. It said the pathway to life is. So I always put the message title and then like dash your name or whoever's preaching. <laughs> oh, and so it says the Sean pathway Clark. to life is dot, 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 Sean, Sean Clark. Clark. <laughs> <laughs> and I was like, the pathway to life is not Sean Clark, by it the is, way. Yeah. <laughs> All right, everybody, welcome back to the Review Preview Podcast. Um, Shane, I'm disappointed you're not singing the ditty today. I know. Well, I feel like it would be kind of, I don't know, just weird if I did it twice in a row. Twice in a row. It's kind of like the little kid who gets a joke in his mind, and he's like, this is so funny, I'm just going to keep telling it over and over again. Yeah, no, I totally get that. You can only go to the well so many times, right? I totally get that. So it's, um, well... Scott Painter's not here today. Yeah. Because that dude, he's really busy. Yeah. He works a lot. And uh, so, Scott, we miss you. But uh, Shane's filling in again. But it's no, it, you're not like the consolation prize. No. Like, you, you're you now a regular yeah. on the review preview. Yeah. So. I, I will never replace him, but I will be alongside him. That's right. Yeah. Yeah. That's what Beyonce say, said, right? Did she actually? Irreplaceable. Oh. Did she have a song? I don't know. I'm not up on pop culture. Me neither. You're the pop culture. You quoted Taylor Swift in a sermon. I did. The only, <laughs> the only reason... I even Beyonce came across my mind is because I one I don't listen to Beyonce, but I was going to um, I was going to reference God as irreplaceable and I couldn't remember like if that's a word or not so I looked up the word on Google and I found that's out that Beyonce up. sings that yeah. song. <laughs> so now people yeah I don't listen. So you would have tried to preach on that and everyone's just like thinking Beyonce the whole time instead to the of left, about God. To the left. Yeah. <laughs> Everything you own in the box to the left. I don't. It's I'm, I'm like thinking that. like to the left. Oh, that's a, yeah. That's, that's a, one of those. That's a songs. different one. Yeah. Yeah. Anyway. Okay. <laughs> so, it might have been before your time. Yeah. It might be. So. There's a lot of things that were before my time. There, to be fair, there is. So anyway, <laughs> well, we're not going to talk about um, we're not going to talk about pop culture yeah, today. No. Let's review yeah. what we did in the service. Um, we gave away Oreo cookies. We did. Yeah. That's hey. You know what? I just Let's, got. My, it's noon again. This oh. is the second time this has happened. <laughs> Where I get the computer reminding me that it's noon on Thursday. I wish my devices did that. <laughs> anyway, you, yeah. I think you can set it up that Probably. way. Probably. Actually, that'd be really annoying. So. Um, anyway. We so, gave away yeah. Oreo cookies. So yeah. do you have a preference in what type of Oreo cookie you like? So I really, I, I really, really liked the mint Oreos. Oh, no. I love, no, and I ate no, way too no. many of them. You know how you do that? You eat way too much of a candy or a food to where you just like don't, like you can't stand it anymore. Yeah. That's me with Oreo mint, uh, Oreo, Oreo. Uh, mint Oreos. Mint Oreos, yeah. yeah. That's, I was going to say Oreo mint blizzard. That's a different thing. That's like the kid <laughs> that has the joke that says the joke too often. Exactly. Right? It's yeah. like the Oreo cookie, the mint Oreo cookie, and you ate too much of it, yeah. and now you're just sick of it. Becomes a foul taste in your mouth. <laughs> yeah. So, um... It was interesting. One time I went to Costco. I think I've, I don't know if I've told some people might have heard me tell this story before, but you know how they give out samples? Oh, yeah. At Costco. Which is my, why you go there. My kid. That's why you <laughs> go there. Right? That for in the chicken. Right? Yeah. <laughs> so we go there and my kids call them examples, not samples, but examples. Okay. So um, one. But it's usually they're like they're normally it's like they're featuring some sort of product that obviously it's an advertisement they're trying to get you to buy their product and sometimes it's like i don't know what the product is so it's like okay i'll try the drink or i'll try the whatever they're offering and one time they're they're featuring the oreo cookie and i was like i felt so <laughs> conflicted because i was like i i know what an oreo cookie tastes like it's not like i need to be sold on you know how good this is going to be yeah. right so then I felt conflicted. I was like, do I have to kind of pretend like, oh, what is this <laughs> chocolatey, creamy cookie? You know, I was like, They're just what's waiting. it called again? Yeah. Oreo? <laughs> like, so, but I was like, I, I'm totally going to eat it. Yeah. But I, I felt like, should I pretend like I don't know what this is or not? Yeah. You know? I don't know. What do they expect? Are they just waiting for you to eat it? And you're like, oh, these are so good. And they're like, yeah, I knew it. Yeah. You, you've had one of these before. <laughs> And apparently, <laughs> apparently the American Oreo is not as good as the Canadian Oreo. Yes. Yeah, We've was, heard a lot of hype and a lot of talk. I, I know. haven't tasted anything yet. I just know. Just throwing and that out there. So I'm yeah. going to say, Angela Henderson, <laughs> I'm, yeah. I'm calling you out on the podcast. Yeah. Called out. Uh, Tagger in the Facebook You are here post. multiple times a week, and I think you have a trip going up to Alberta soon. So if you come back empty-handed with no Oreo cookies for us, it's bad news. <laughs> Bad news. It might be office prank time at that point. 
My kids for that's dangerous because then people prank you back. I know. My kids really want to do the Oreo cookie um, on uh, April Fool's Day, where you you take it apart and you put the toothpaste in it. Have you ever oh, heard of that one? Oh no, I haven't. Yeah. Anyway, that would be kind of funny. Watch out, Angela. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So anyway, um, we <laughs> anyway. talked about Oreo cookies. <laughs> we talked about Oreo cookies because um, we're in James, and the and James chapter four verses one through uh, twelve. Um, it's just, it's hard teaching. It's a really hard teaching. And so, um, we're kind of in this. And so, but in the very middle of James chapter four, verses one through 12 is verse six and verse six says, but he gives more grace, mm-hmm. right? So we're, we're, we just want to kind of continually remind ourselves that, that between the two hard exterior shells of, you know, of the teaching of James four, one through 12 is right in the middle is this, this idea that we have a God who gives more grace. And, um, so we looked at verses six through 12. Last week, we're going to look at it again this next week, but in verses 6 through 12, there's 11 imperative verbs. Yeah. So 11, 11 commandments coming at us that we need to apply to our lives or allow to the Holy Spirit to apply to our lives. And so it's like, wait a minute, like I'm not good at keeping the 10 commandments of the <laughs> yeah. Old Testament, right? So what what shot do I have at the 11 in five short verses? Yeah. And we just need to be reminded that God gives more grace. So we talked about the pathway to life is um, that uh, that is through humble um, dependence upon God and submissive repentance. So yeah. it's kind of a two week sermon. Uh, we just looked at this idea of humility, humble dependence upon God. Yeah. So, um, yeah. Any thoughts that you had? Well, besides I Oreo have cookies? a serious thought, but you also to, to yeah. sidetrack really quick. So when I was putting when I was putting the uh, YouTube or uploading the message to YouTube and to Facebook, yeah. it said the pathway to life is. So I always put the message title and then like dash your name or whoever's preaching. <laughs> oh, and so it says the Sean pathway Clark. to life is dot 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 Sean, Sean Clark. <laughs> <laughs> and I was like. I don't know what to do about that. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Can't change up the formatting. <laughs> there, there's there been multiple times. And, and talk about, it, it, it's interesting that we're talking about pride and humility yeah. on the Sunday that I sing, you know, to Sean, yeah. be the glory. You know, I was yeah. just joking around about yeah. that. My kids got my Father's Day. Get, this is multiple times this has happened now. The pathway to life is not Sean Clark, by it, the way. Yeah, no, it's um, <laughs> But my kids for, my, for Father's Day, you know, have you seen the... Uh, Dr. Seuss things like thing one, thing two. Yeah, yeah. Well, there's a there's a shirt out there that says father of all things. And they got that for me. <laughs> and I was like, Whoa. I was like, wait a minute. <laughs> I was like, I don't know if I can wear this. Yeah. Like, I'm totally not the father of all things. Like that seems pretty sad. Then you're just asking double to get struck. I know. Like, right. And so the pathway to life is not Sean Clark. Yeah. But Jesus talks about the pathway to life and he says it's it's a narrow gate. Mm-hmm. It's a really hard road to walk on. Yeah. And, and then he demonstrated it to us because he um, he walked the path of, of humility. He humbled yeah. himself by becoming obedient to the point of death, death on a cross. And yeah. therefore, then God highly exalted him, which yeah. was the exact opposite of what Satan did. Yeah. Satan said, I, I want to exalt myself. And he was humbled in the process. Jesus um, humbled himself and was exalted in the process. Yeah. So It's so counterintuitive. Like yeah. we... we um, we have this idea like, oh, I, I have this right. I must be treated this certain way and all this. And it's like, to some extent, like, yeah, of course, there's there's God. You know, like, we're made in the image of God, and how we treat each other is important. But it's like, I'm not owed these certain things. Like, these are, are gifts from God. And if I start if I start just elevating myself and, and how I think of myself and how others should treat me, yeah, um, it's it's not going to go good. There's going to be that that fall, that destruction of yourself, and you're also going to end up pushing others away as well yeah. in the process, saying, like, I can give you this, I can provide you, when you're pointing to yourself in a way that you really you can't. Like, only God can, can provide you with all those things. <laughs> yeah. Well, and yeah. I think that's the thing is, like, we elevate ourselves and our own desires to God-like status, mm-hmm. right? And... And uh, don't get in my way. Give me what I want. Don't get in my way. Otherwise, I'll run you over. Yeah. And so um, the long and short of the message is this, is that if you, it's it's crazy because the, we just looked at verses 6 and verses 10. I believe it's in the passage. Um, but the pathway towards exaltation is through getting off of the, the, the road, the highway that leads, you know, that's, that's paved with pride and diverting ourselves off of that and being humble. Mm-hmm. And so the long and short of the message is this, is that if you want God to be opposed to you, remain proud. Yeah. But if you want God to exalt you, God to exalt you, yeah. for him to lift you up, 
then you humble yourselves before him. Yeah. So, I mean, talk about applicable in all of the relational strife that we have. So often we, we have pride driving us and wanting things our way in our time. Um, and, and so there's a lot of tension in, in our relationships because we have kind of elevated ourselves over other people. Yeah. And so that's just not the way of God. That's not the way that Jesus served us. And you had Matthew mm-hmm. 23 open, yeah. right? I think I referenced it on Sunday, but yeah, what was that? Oh, let's see. Matthew Did you have that 23, one? 23, 17. I screenshotted it. You screenshotted it. Yeah. Wait. Uh, 23, 12. Whoever 12. exalts himself will, self will be humbled, and whoever humbles himself will be exalted. Yeah. So you're talking about. Yeah, it? yeah. Now, I think that's good, too, especially like, um, as we've been talking about relationships, uh, a relational, uh, strife, it's easy to point at the other person. Yeah. And, and sometimes it, to be fair, it's not always equal. Like there are some people that are, are causing more problems, but, yeah. but always looking at ourselves, we're always somewhat of the problem. Right. Yeah. And we're all, we're definitely not helping it in some way. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> um, but then to, to come back and I, I love how you like, you, you'll talk about these difficult things and you'll finish it, but God gives more grace. Yeah. And that amazing. It's mean, like, yeah. it's such like a, like, Okay. Yeah, there's this collective sigh <laughs> of hope. relief. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, and get ready for that again because last week's teaching was hard. Um, when we talk about uh, being humbly dependent upon God, um, this week we're going to talk about submissive repentance. So that means that we have to we have to submit and recognize and confess that hey, we've messed it all up, mm-hmm. and then we actually have to turn. So we're actually going to go through all 11 of those imperative verbs this week Hmm. because we didn't unpack them last week. We just talked about humbling ourselves, but there's, there's, there's 11 of them in there and they all center around this idea, um, of, of the biblical topic of repentance. Um, Hmm. the first words, the first public words out of Jesus mouth as he began preaching in Matthew is repent. The first word is repent. Like there's something wrong with you that you need to change and turn around and, and here it is. Right. And then he gives the sermon on the Mount. Yeah. Um, so, so this week is also, once again, it's going to be kind of a heavy one. Uh, but I'm hoping that we see that God once again, gives more grace. Mm -hmm. And so we're going to talk about all those verbs in that passage that were to do or allow God to do in us. Yeah. And so kind of be ready for that submissive repentance. Yeah. And it really does elevate the grace of God too. Like the more we realize that, the more we realize how undeserving we are um, and how unworthy we are of his grace, the more amazing it becomes. Right. Totally. Yeah. 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 And you're teaching equipping our man. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. We're going to just be going over like differences between Catholicism and Protestant and like why... What was the need for the Reformation? Like, is it still important today? Like, do we have that many differences? And, yeah. Um, it's going to be two-part uh, series building on top of, so you, you want to catch both of them yeah, if you can. Both, both or, days, or watch yeah. them later. We're going to keep recording them. Yeah. But yeah, that's kind of what we want to go over and yeah. ask, is it, um, why, should we still be divided? Like, is there a reason? Awesome. Yeah. yeah. I'm excited I'm ex- to hear you teach. Yeah. For the next couple of weeks. Excited to do it. Uh, we got some new worship songs in our worship service yeah. on Sunday. I so. know. I did a terrible thing. And no, that was you dude, did. Two, we- two new songs two weeks in a row. Watch <laughs> out, everybody. But yeah. this is the cool thing is like because of technology, people can get on and click on that playlist yeah. that's sent out in our weekly email and uh, and familiarize yourself with those songs. Yeah. Uh, good God honoring lyrics and yeah. upbeat tempo and yeah. fun. To well, sing. it's literally basically it's says in the title, title, Psalm, Tybles. S- Tybles. what's the title? <laughs> it, it says it's Psalm 62. Like it's literally like right out of just like, it's in the scripture. It's basically Psalm 62 put yeah. into song form. And I'm That's like, right. we, we have the Psalms to sing and yep. it's, it's fun. Yeah. good for you, man. Yeah. So, uh, well, thanks for yeah. joining the podcast again. I know it was last minute. We just threw yeah. you in here, but I don't know, is there anything else we have to look forward to? We got a quipping hour. We got the sermon. Um, Time change. Time change is coming service. up May 28th. Oh, on the 21st. We'll talk about this next week, but 21st is going to be kind of fun because we have, uh, oh, it's Mother's Day this weekend. Yeah, that's right. That's yeah. Get your mom a gift. Yeah, don't don't forget like I just did until a minute ago. And then there's going to be a, a giveaway. Seconds. There's going to be a Mother's Day giveaway um, in our service Ooh. this week. So yeah. that should be fun. First Oreos, you now giveaways. I know, yeah. Mm-hmm. And then, yeah, so the 21st is kind of like a mission Sunday 
around here at FCC, which I'm excited about to talk oh, yeah. about the mission of the church and then um, kind of at home and abroad. And then yeah. that's followed by our missions, annual missions lunch yeah. uh, to support um, earthquake relief and bring and highlight Pastor Emery's yeah. ministry over there in Turkey. So yeah. it's going to be cool to do that. They're and, doing some incredible things. I've seen their, their newsletter and just yeah. setting up huts and food and yeah. all the things they're doing. Yeah. So yeah, with the so, with the Church of Christ or uh, some Protestant tur- Church of Turkey or whatever on on everything of Tibbles, like, yes, yeah, so exactly. Yeah, <laughs> uh, so, yeah. Proclaiming anyway. the name of Christ in all of it is excellent. Yeah, so, yeah. All right. Well, yeah. So there's there's a ton of things to look forward to mm-hmm. around here. So plus the sun is shining. Yeah. Hi, right, man. Yeah. Well, we'll see you guys later. Yeah. Bye. Peace out.